Hello everyone. As the world is moving towards globalization and making life easy using newer technology, we are moving towards generating growing volumes of e-waste in the dumping yards. What we don't realize is that this e-waste is causing several health hazards to the people of this planet. The children, adults, expectant mothers and any other human being like you and me. The government introduced EPR to deal with this e-waste in the year 2016. Let's talk about EPR e-waste in this video. My name is Akash and I represent my company AP International, India's leading EPR consultants. With the launch of EPR, the government made every producer, manufacturer, refurbisher, recycler responsible for eco-friendly waste disposal and recycling of this hazardous e-waste. Let's understand what exactly is EPR for e-waste. EPR stands for Extended Producers Responsibility which was introduced by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change on 23rd of March 2023. It is the responsibility of every producer of electrical and electronic equipment triply for environmentally sound management of such electrical and electronic waste. On May 19, 2022, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change introduced an amendment in the e-waste management rules as per the rules epr registration is mandatory and has to be obtained by all the entities including manufacturers of electrical and electronic appliances the producers of electrical and electronic equipment including importers e-retailers online sellers etc refurbishers and also recyclers of electrical and electronic appliances let's understand the definition and responsibilities of all the entities including manufacturers producers refurbishers and recyclers manufacturer in epr the term manufacturers means a person or an entity which has facilities for manufacture of electrical and electronic equipment the responsibilities of manufacturer are get epr registered collect e waste generated during the manufacture of any electrical and electronic equipment and ensure its recycling or disposal file annual and quarterly returns producer the term producer means any person or entity who manufactures and offers to sell electrical and electronic equipment and the components or consumables spare parts under its own brand or offers to sell assembled electrical and electronic equipment and the components or consumables spare parts produced by other manufacturers or suppliers or offers to sell imported electrical and electronic equipment and their components or consumables or spare parts or imports used electrical and electronic equipment the responsibilities of producer include get epr registered fulfill the epr target create awareness about the hazards of e-waste disposal and file annual and quarterly returns refurbisher The term refurbisher means any person or an entity who repairs or assembles used electrical and electronic equipment for extending its working life for same use as originally intended and selling the same in the market. The responsibilities of refurbisher are again get EPR registered, collect e-waste generated during the process of refurbishing and hand over the e-waste registered to a registered recycler. Lastly file annual and quarterly returns recycler the term recycler means any person or entity who is engaged in recycling and reprocessing of waste electrical and electronic equipment for recovery of precious or semi precious metals including rare earth elements and other useful recoverable materials the responsibilities of recycler include get epr registered maintain record of e waste collected dismantled recycled create awareness about the hazards of e-waste disposal account for and upload information about any non-recyclable e-waste or any quantity which is not recycled and lastly file annual and quarterly returns now let's learn about the categories of electrical and electronic equipment that are included under the purview of EPR e-waste all the categories of electrical and electronic equipments covered under EPR are listed in the schedule 1 of e-waste rules 2022 as shown on the screen it includes information technology and telecommunication equipment consumer electrical and electronics and photovoltaic panels large and small electrical and electronic equipment electrical and electronic tools toys leisure and sports equipments 
medical devices and lastly laboratory instruments. Now what are the documents required for EPR registration? Firstly, company PAN card, IEC and GST registration certificate, CA certified consolidated statement of sales, details on the quantity of electrical and electronic equipment sold in the market, affidavit on a stamp paper certifying the correctness of the same, declaration on the availability of technical documents as per EN 50581 of the electrical and electronic equipment sold in the market, incorporation certificate, PAN card and Aadhaar card of the authorized signatory of the company. Now, what is the procedure for obtaining EPR registration for e-waste? Step 1. Documentation Before filling out the application form, ensure that all the relevant documents are available in PDF, JPEG or PNG file formats. Step 2. Submission of application The applicant should submit the application with all the necessary documents with the CPCB. Step 3. Submission of application fee An application fee will be applicable with a submission which has to be paid by the applicant. Step 5. Processing of application The concerned division of CPCB will then evaluate and process the application for registration. Any shortcomings in the application will be communicated. These shortcomings should be addressed by the applicant by submitting the requisite clarification. Step 6. Grant of EPR registration Once the application is found complete, the concerned CPCB division will submit the application to the member secretary for approval. Upon approval of the member secretary, the concerned divisional head will issue the EPR registration certificate. Now, how can we as consultants help you? We are AV International, India's leading EPR consultants. We can not only help you in obtaining a fresh new EPR registration, but also help you in meeting your target and filing annual and quarterly returns. We are associated with more than 300 companies in meeting their EPR needs. To know more about our company, please visit our website www.abigroup.in. If you find our content informative, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.